Well, um, what we're going to look at um, today is uh, a joint that gets um, overlooked because people, a lot of people don't realise they've got one, and that's the fibula. Now, most of us know, and your patients will know, that in the forearm there are two, two bones. The ulna, they may not know the name, but the, the ulna and the radius, and that they're separated, and that when, we, when they rotate their arm, they can kind of, you can feel that there are two bones going on in there. A lot of people don't realise there are two bones in the lower leg. So the shin bone, which is triangular and takes up the bulk of the lower leg, um, on the outside of it, just over here, is the, the most proximal articulation of the fibula. So it's a little knobby piece of bone just there, and the outer ankle bone, or malleolus, is the other end of the fibula. So what we're going to be talking about is how to uh, improve the function. So now if we go back to the forearm, uh, a lot of people will, will come in, they'll say, I've got a pain in the wrist, I've got a pain in the elbow, which for the, the leg, it's a knee, and the ankle is the same as the elbow and the wrist. So the other thing that people will talk about is their forearm. They may say, oh, look, when I grip, I get a pain through here. So as practitioners, that's easy to deal with. There are pains that happen in the, in the lower leg between the fibula and the, and the front of the tibia that we don't very often necessarily think maybe it's because there's an articulation problem either in the knee joint between um, the femur and the tibia or there's a problem with the articulation of the fibula. So this is a very simple technique. I'm going to show you two, two techniques. The first one is from the, the Bowen uh, method, and that involves three acupuncture points. So we're going to be looking at stomach 34, looking at gallbladder 34, and also gallbladder 35. And then the other technique that I'm going to show you, which is um, a great way of treating the fibula because the results of it are instantaneous and the reason for that is that they affect both ends, both articulations, the, the articulation at the ankle with the outer malleolus and the articulation at this end just under the knee. Whereas the Bowen technique, the, the technique is effective but it needs the person to be often moving around for the next day or so for it to fully um, restore function because the truth of the fibula is that there is not ever just one end of it dysfunctional it's often the other end as well. In order to determine whether the fibula is dysfunctional or not it's not just about you know, people pointing and saying it hurts me here when I do such and such um, or it's I've got pain down here you need to establish is the fibula in fact dysfunctional is its range of movement restricted so if we just rest our finger on the proximal thumb on the proximal head just flex the ankle a little bit and rotate the foot in and out what we should feel is we should feel the fibula slide towards the front towards the back just just a little bit and if it doesn't do it then it's it's fixed and not it's not um, its range of movement is restricted if we rest our thumb again on that fibula head and just flex the ankle, dorsiflex, plantar flex it, you can feel the head of the fibula move up and move down, so superior and inferiorly. And again, if there's a dysfunction there, then um, the techniques that we're showing will improve that. So that's the way in which we can easily determine whether or not the fibula is involved. So there's symptoms the patient may complain about, but there's also um, the need to palpate that. The other end of the ankle, uh, other end of the fibula at the ankle, the lateral malleolus, again the motion in that, so the leg is nice and relaxed, the motion in that joint can be just palpated by moving the ankle around and feeling the bone. Again, if it's stuck here, it's going to be stuck there. Not that the word stuck is quite right, but if it's dysfunctional at one end, it will be dysfunctional at the other end. So people with ankle problems, you may find that instead of worrying too much about the ankle, if you look at the fibula, you may find that that solves the ankle problem. So let's have a look at the technique. Okay, so the first uh, technique we're going to talk about for the fibula um, is the technique uh, that I watched Tom Bowen use. Now Tom um, 
was very keen on this point here, which we know as stomach 34. He just knew it as the point that if he put some medial pressure on it and held it, his description was that it would open up the lower leg. So by doing that, there's a change happens to the tissue, the ligaments that hold the fibula in its articulation. Now the fibula can move, it glides either anteriorly, posteriorly, or it can also glide um, up and down or inferiorly and superiorly. So it depends entirely on what's happening. So as the foot moves, backwards and forwards like that, or rotates around, then the fibula goes through a motion of moving up and down and it fits just like the end of my thumb and so it's moving this way, that way or up and down. So the technique we hold there, so this is this is stomach 34, this is gallbladder 34, so we're popping our contact in behind that and there's a little flick which the patient will feel as you move towards the front of the as towards the front of the leg. So that's the first part of it. The next part of it is just coming down there. Here we're going down to gallbladder 35. So gallbladder 35, you think about the, the crease here and the external malleolus and divide them in half and just drop back one son, or you can count up seven. But peculiarly, you might think, if we're holding here, we've done that little flick at gallbladder 34. Down here, there's no trouble finding gallbladder 35 because it becomes apparent. So here I am again behind it and flicking through it. So it's just flicking behind the fibula, the tissue over the top of the fibula, and then we let go. So that, what that will do is improve the um, movement of the, of the fibula, both in a, in a, a forward and back movement, and also an up and down movement. So that's um, improvement is there's some improvement you'll feel straight away, but the, the rest of the improvement will happen when the patient introduces motion and time. So in other words, when they walk, so they'll leave your office, come back next time to see you and say, you know, the condition that I've had here or my knee function, whatever it might be that you're attempting to change, will have improved. So that's the, that's the Bowen approach to it. The fibula, uh, the other approach that we can use for the fibula is the Dalmar technique and this is um, where points are coupled together and in that uh, coupling something happens between those two points that multiplies the effect of the treatment enormously. So let's now have another look at the fibula. So at this end here, the proximal joint here, we have movement, little gliding movement that can go up and down and also sorry, in and out and up and down so it creates almost like a circle of movement depending on what the the ankle's doing um, so and down here we have a, a similar movement a bit more limited but a similar movement down at the ankle so what we're going to do is we're going to use once again this is gallbladder 34 but this time we're actually as if we're going to needle it so we're just resting contact there with our thumb the other contact is down at gallbladder 40. Okay, common points. Now, there's no pressure, but the pressure is very, very light. Now, we're going to have the patient, they're going to dorsiflex their ankle, so we're coming up like that whilst I hold. And the instructions are to take a deep breath, so I'll just bring that up, take a breath, deep breath and hold the breath. And then after about two seconds, breathe out. As they breathe out, they spread their toes. What that does is to introduce a complex motion to the, the lower end down here, and, and you can feel the changes that occur in the tissues down the, down the leg. So then the foot is, is now plantar flexed all the way down the patient once again. So we're just holding gallbladder 34, gallbladder 40. The patient takes a breath in, holds the breath, and then breathes out and spreads the toes. Beautiful and relaxes. Now immediately after that, and I mean immediately after that, you will feel an improvement in the function of the fibula. And that's the, the point of the treatment. So we've seen two different ways of doing it, Tom Bowen's method and this method, the Dalmar method. Mm -hmm.